James Kaufman, World News Report today. Ladies and gentlemen, today is March 4th, 2022. It is 2 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have just been told and JPL has just announced that they found yet another near-Earth object another meteor inbound for you guessed it tonight and they just saw it and the solution date will probably be today we will find out together because of the timing i wanted to push this out this is 2022 ef1 it's supposed to fly between the moon and earth they say 0.7 lunar distances. It's a very fast meteor traveling at 11.5 kilometers per second. And again, it was just spotted. You'll see that it has almost uh, the exact orbit with no inclination whatsoever as we do. Something I hardly ever see. How could we have not seen this before? It's going to be awful close. Let's get some data. But before we do that, let's watch us collide with 2022 EF1. An EF1. Watch. Whoa. <clears throat> and please notice the date. It's the 25th, 26th. They still haven't seen it. 27th, 28th, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. Bang. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get some detailed information. All right, 2022 EF1, 2022 EF1, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Solution date, March 3rd. So they're saying that it was late yesterday when they actually announced it. Uh, I surely look all day long and didn't see it announced. They said that they first saw it on March 2nd, actually solved it on March 3rd, but it still has a condition code of 7, meaning they're highly uncertain about its size and orbit. Strange, folks. Strange. How many observations? 42 over only one day. you think that they'd be able to actually, well, come up with a better condition code. And I want you all to know that zero is a very good code, meaning they are highly certain of where this rock is headed. And, well, nine being highly uncertain. Seven, almost, well, very high on the curve. This luckily rock is only about 20 feet in diameter. That is the good news. It is moving fast. It would depend on the inclination that it entered our atmosphere, but I would expect it to blow up in the atmosphere. God bless you and yours, folks. Another day, another near-Earth object. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.